Someday we'll get paid for this. Hi, my name is Isaac Lin, Isaac Ting Wei Lin. Um, this is my show, A Place Near Here, at Fleischer Ullman Gallery in Philadelphia. my first solo show in Philadelphia. It's a huge space to fill, so I had a, to come up with like several projects to sort of utilize like the wall space and then also this like big empty space in the middle of this room. And then as well as this um, hallway towards the right here. Before I went to grad school, I was doing a lot of like sort of cartoony character, monster sort of pieces. Since grad school, I've wanted to like sort of have those two worlds like be together, you know, to coexist. Having like the cartoony guys also incorporated with the more abstract pattern sort of sort of stuff. While I was in my studio, I was listening to like to a lot of pavement, like early '90s stuff, <laughs> like emo, like sort of stuff. I mean, they're kind of, and I mean, these guys are also just sort of like. Uh, yeah, they're just supposed to be fun and kind of mischievous and like up to whatever. And then, and since these are like so big, like they're all, they're like bigger than me, and so um, it was fun to like sort of they're like you know imaginary friends or something like that. You know? Like when I first started drawing on the photos, on photos in general, um, there were found photos from like surf stores and then also uh, old photos from from like fam old family albums um, like this one of my mom like my dad took that photo my mom took this photo of my dad when they went like on I think that's like on their honeymoon or something like that the reason I blacked out his face is because he he passed away when I was 17 and it's sort of like a, you know, homage to him, you know, sort of thing. This was the first photo that I drew on. Uh, Andrew Jeffrey Wright gave this photo to me um, to collaborate on for the show. This photo um, was given to me by, by my friend Josh Lescano. Um, he got it printed out on like a vinyl, it's like a vinyl banner. So it was kind of challenging to like figure out what kind of paint would like stick on the vinyl. But the photo I thought was like hilarious because it's this, I think it's a Japanese like blue collar worker guy <laughs> that's like <laughs> at the end of the day like passed out in, in, in a park or something, I, I don't know. And thinking about trees and forests, but there's this moss called like, I think it's like British soldier moss. They're just like kind of like little trees, that, the little stalks. And on the tops, they're, they're like bright red, but the stalks are like a real like light green. So just like that color contrast was like really interesting. And I was also like doing these patterns like using like a square brush. That's how like I do those lines, you know, with these like um, installations and these structures that's, I've always used like just like found cardboard boxes and just stacking them together and thinking about things like modularly. Uh, um, but I mean, at the end of the show, I'm gonna have to like destroy this thing. <laughs> I, I was trying to like make it like, oh, I can like, you know, build a couple walls first and then put all these boxes on it and then get there and just screw the walls together. But it was, you know, not that easy. And I just feel like 
like really <laughs> like graceful <laughs> to like have like you know friends that are that are like so generous and stuff. So, so like one lone tear. <laughs> <laughs>